Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24-7 and today we're going to be talking about how to make your first stock market investment with $100. So you have $100, you want to get started in the stock market. You know what the number one step is? Actually starting. Starting that engine, just doing it. Number one step is to actually freaking do it. So many people are like, oh, I only have $100. Well, you know what the most important thing is? To actually start with that $100. Get your feet wet into stocks. If you want to start learning something, you got to turn the first page. You got to uh, lift the first weight. You know, you got to start with that five pound dumbbell if you're talking about the gym. It's the same thing with stocks. You got to buy your first stock. You got to get your feet wet and actually freaking do it. You got to pull the trigger because yes, it's only a hundred dollars, but that's a great starting point. That's a great opportunity to begin learning. And so that is the first step is actually getting started. Number two, you got to have an investment account. So the investment, uh, uh, account portfolio manager that I use is Robinhood. It's a free stock trading app and there's no commissions on trades, which is very important as a beginner because that means that when you actually go to buy a stock, there's no fees. There's no transaction fees for when you're going to go and buy a stock. Say you want to buy some Coca-Cola stock. You don't have to pay anything for when you buy and when you sell it, uh, which is great because that means that you don't have to worry about factoring in that extra fee for when you're buying and selling your stocks is great. So open an investment account. Robinhood is a great op- option for you um, that is available to you. And it's an app on your phone, which I'll get into later uh, more about Robinhood. But definitely, you know, you got to open an investment account. That's the that's, uh, second step. Step number two is to actually open the account. Uh, number three, find a stock that you believe in. This is uh, step three in the process. Now, I'm just going to give you some examples of stocks. PayPal. You know, Coca-Cola, Square, Microsoft, these are all under $100, which I actually have a separate video on this channel going over uh, more in depth different stocks that you could get under $100. There's a lot of stocks you can get under $100. I'm not saying these are great ones specifically. These are just ones that I've looked into in the past. Maybe I have a few shares in them at uh, from time to time. Uh, but, the you know, find a stock that you actually believe in. For example, with PayPal, I'm just using this because I, I know quite a bit about PayPal. That's a stock that I believe in. Uh, PayPal, you know, they, they handle transactions online. But And I think, you know, a lot of the whole retail shift with e-commerce and all that kind of stuff is very important. And PayPal is going to make a lot of money over the next coming years. Same thing with Square. They're in the same kind of uh, transaction marketplace. So, you know, find a stock you believe in, you know, maybe it's Coke, maybe it's Microsoft, maybe it's not none of these four that I'm using as examples today, but find something you believe in that you want to put your money into. Um, Obviously, it needs to be under $100 since you only have $100 to invest. You know, you have to buy the whole stock outright. So it needs to be under $100, needs to be under $100, which all of these ones are, but there's a plenty of others. But, you know, you want to find a stock you believe in, a company that's trustworthy, secure, that you see a vision in. Because ultimately, you know, you're buying a piece of that company, you're buying a small percentage. You want to have faith and belief that that company is going to grow and make you some more money. Obviously, that's the whole point at the end of the day is to make money from from investing in the stock market. So number four, don't get caught up in early performance. That is something that uh, it's kind of scary. You know, you're, you're jumping into some risk. It's definitely something that, uh, you know, you're new to is you know, you're getting educated on that by watching this video is helping you a little bit. You know, there's a lot of videos uh, on my channel or on the Internet in general that could help you with getting started in the stock market. And so you know, don't get caught up too much in the early performance. You, you know, when you're first learning, you may make a few mistakes and the result, it may not look like you're actually getting any results over time. But as you can see below, that's just an example of an exponential growth chart, which may or may not happen with your money. But uh, there's a high percentage that it will with compound interest. interest. Uh, and so, you know, don't get too caught up in the early performance. Maybe, you, you know, you buy the stock, there's a 50% chance that it might go down in the next day. There's a chance that it might go up. Like, you, you know... Don't get too caught up if you make a mistake in the beginning and like, oh, no, the stock market's not for me. Well, oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. You know, don't make excuses about your early performance is like, oh, no, blah, blah, blah. Stop making excuses. Like, actually get into it. Don't worry if you lose $5 of that $100. Like, $100 is not a ton of money. You know, if you have, you probably could find that to throw into the stock market. That's why you're watching this video is, oh, I have hundred dollars. I want to invest in the stock market. How do I do this? You know, don't make excuses, actually go and do it. And don't get too worried about the beginning because you're just learning. You're getting your feet wet. You know, you're getting started. And I like to use this comparison a lot with stocks is it's just like getting in the gym. 
uh, you know, the first time you go in there, you're like, oh, I have to lift a five pound weight. Oh man, I'm just getting started. Well, boo hoo. Yeah. And then you lift a 10 pound weight. Then it's a 20 pound, then a 30 pound, then a 40 pound. You keep going up, you keep increasing. It's the same thing with your money in the stock market. You know, you get better at it, you know, and when you're first starting out in the gym, you, you know, you're like a baby seal, you know, you're flopping around and uh, you don't know what the hell you're doing. It's the same thing with the stock market. You may lose some money. Oh, man, that was a bad decision. Well, a year from now, you're going to know that that decision was stupid if you're still educating yourself, which you all, which you should be doing. Uh, and you're not going to make those kind of mistakes. So don't worry and don't make excuses in the beginning process of learning. You know, take this as learning experience with your first hundred dollars. And actually get into it and do it. So the way you could do this is through Robinhood. It's the stock market app that I use personally. Highly recommend it. It's backed by the FDIC, so it is very secure. You know, you can trust this app. It's available on iOS, Android. It's free stock trading app. No commissions on trades. I actually have a link below to get yourself started. It'll get you a free stock. I think it's around five dollars. Uh, so you know, if you want to get started with that, Robinhood's that's what I use. It's free. It's free. All that's the best thing because a lot of other e trade, all those kind of things, you got to pay ten dollars per transaction, which sucks. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And once again, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.